uh, it's Liesl here and I am about halfway through my drive back to Pittsburgh. I am stoked. I like the road could just end at any moment. I cannot wait for um, to be home. Um, my sister's flight has officially taken off from Chicago and she's going to be landing in Pittsburgh in just a little bit and I'm I don't know what I never know what my brother's doing, but I'm sure he's going to be there too um, when we get home. So we literally cannot be re wait to be re reunited. It's been since July since the three of us were home together. So I am just excited to be happy and at home with the five Marked clan tonight. Uh, but anyway, so my question, the reason I was wondering and pondering, I just ran into sheets because... I um I have a really overactive bladder not overactive bladder but I pee a lot because I drink a lot of water to stay healthy so I'm always stopping at rest stops a million times so um I'm literally popping in here for two minutes to ask you a question can you really just go into sheets and pee because you have to walk past those MTO machines right those screens like they get you every time like I'm not even kidding guys last time I went on a road trip I was literally at the screen I had a sandwich ordered I got to that prompt question do you want to add a, a, a small fry for 99 cents and I was like about to click the button and I was like crap like Lisa what are you doing why are you at this MTO machine like you you can do this like you can walk out of here without doing this without ordering that greasy bag of food that you then receive um, to take with you in the car and then you just like grouch your face with it and then you feel like crap the rest of your drive right so um, I just had a small victory tonight I walked into sheets I walked to the bathroom I went to the bathroom I did my business I walked back out and bought nothing. I didn't even buy more water because I'm trying to get home faster and I'm, I need to wrap up my thoughts here so I can get home. But instead, my solution here is I kick it old school. My cute little old VR Bradley, um, lunchbox from high school and VR Bradley was all the rage and cool and fun. Hey, Vera. Um, this is my go-to when I go on the road. So inside, I, I just want to make you like realize, like I've taken pictures of this before and all this stuff, but this is real. Like this is what I need to do to keep focused and keep on my goals. So inside of my Vera, here are some of my favorite for the road, favorite snacks. So to avoid that MTO. Okay. And I knew these were in here so I could walk in and out back to the car. I'm ready to eat some of this stuff. Um, hard boiled eggs are awesome. They travel really nicely. So I hard boiled some eggs last night. Um, they're still nice and cold because they're in my, in my, uh, in my lunchbox here. So hard boiled eggs are a great source of protein for on the road, right? Um, also I love to pack my veggies. I gotta get in my veggies. Carrots are great on the road. Easy to eat on, easy to munch on. And I always want something crunchy right in the car. Like, I don't know what it is, but you always want something crunchy. Um, so these are great for the car. Um, apples are my favorite fruit to travel. You know, like things like bananas, they get kind of brown sitting in the car. Um, you can drop all your grapes if you pack grapes. I mean, the grapes are cool, but apples are really easy to pack and they stay really nice in the car. Um, so I love those. Um, and then also my nut packets, always my go-to. Um, you can never, you, you get so like bored hungry, you know, when you're driving. So, um, nuts are a great way to just curb your hunger. Cashews, love those. This is a little mix of like almonds and stuff and all that. Um, and then, ooh, like the latest addition to my travel. Um, this is like so exciting. I have gotten really super into graze boxes. Um, so I packed a graze box tonight. This is just the original protein flapjack. I actually just got these flapjack, um, all flapjack boxes. These are really cool. Um, they're just little like rolled oats and sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds um into a little like granola bar and these are really cool eight grams of protein they're all whole grain um and i think like under 150 calories so they're these are really going to be awesome to have on hand I'm, I'm loving grays so that's my newest little obsession to get a little bit of carbohydrates in um on my trip so that's it i gotta go like i gotta hit the road i'm excited i got about three more hours to drive and i'm gonna be home with my family for the, the holiday season um so i'm sure lots of others of you are traveling these next few days so take these tips avoid that mto you are stronger better your goals are better than that and you're gonna feel a lot better if you just take these tips and eat the kind of things that are in my lunch box than inside of sheets right
Thanks, Billy. I'm going to hit the road. I'm on my way. I'm, I'm making good progress. So here we go. Um, travel safe to all you traveling out there. You guys, um, you're awesome. And I thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful night. Travel safe. Travel smart.